Dark jerseys at home. The puck is dropped underway in Syracuse uh, this Wednesday night. Gets a loose puck now. Strides into the offensive zone. Could be a two-on-one down low across. Janssen shoots and scores. Andreas Janssen gives the Marlies a 1-0 lead. 3-10 into the first period. It's a two-on-one that began in the neutral zone. Kapanen cleared it out of his own zone. And it was stopped by the crunch at the red line. But then Kapanen picked it right back up. And went right in on a two-on-one. Moved it across to the, his left. And Janssen gives the Marlies a 1-0 lead. And the puck is out to center. Now here come the crunch. Jan is in on a breakaway. Between the circles, fakes, shoots, scores! <laughs> Welcome back to the lineup, Dennis Jan. He ties the game one and one. 15-38 to go in the first period. End-to-end -end chances. The Marlies had an on-man rush on one end. They lost it, and then the crunch went in on a breakaway, and Dennis Yan buries the breakaway goal of the crunch who tied at 1-1. Return feed gets past Pekka for Matt Spencer down the left wing. He starts the rush. Good pass to Pekka. He's in across. Yan scores! It's a two-goal first period for Dennis Yan in his first game since December 1st. Crunch have a 2-1 lead, 9.07 to play in the first and missed nine games since then. Puck is taken away, the left wing circle by Timoshov. Across, they score! Chris Mueller goes top shelf on a takeaway in the defensive zone, and the game is tied 2-2 with 4.56 to play first period. It's a turnover at the near side circle by the crunch, and Timoshov moved it across to Mueller, who roofs one. Fakes a drive this time, loses possession, it comes out of the zone. Here comes Matthew Pekka, two on one. Pekka with Joseph. Pekka left circle across. Joseph scores! With 29.3 seconds to go in the first period, the Crunch have a 3 2 lead. As Matthew Pekka does it again, he sets up Matthew Joseph on another two on one. And the Crunch, for the second time of the period, had the lead 3 to 2 as Joseph roofs one. Tip to center, here come the Marlies. Reading down the left wing, he's got a man cutting. Feeds it through to him, here's a shot, score! Frederick Gauthier was able to beat Louis Deming up high past the left arm. And the Marlies have tied the game 145 into the second period. Good rush by the Marlies, and Gauthier ties the game 3-3. August is Vlad Nemestikov's 13 game streak. Here's a pass out in front for Jan, stop, score! Kevin Lynch, power play goal, 2.14 to play, second period, and the Crunch lead again, 4-3. Puck was sent out in front, it was tipped on goal by Dennis Jan, and Garrett Sparks made a stop, the rebound sat at the crease, and Kevin Lynch buried it, wide open net, power play goal for the Crunch. Couldn't quite get there in time. Here's the lead pass. It gets through for Kapanen. and he's in on goal. Right circle, a shot, fought off by Deming. The rebound was held though by Alton. He scores! What a keep by Miro Alton. And once again, the game is tied 4-4. Gets it back. Comes out in front for Joseph in the slot. Down low, right circle, score! Power play goal, Adam Ernie from the bottom of the right wing circle. And the crunch for the fourth time of the game had a lead. It's five to four. 16-12 left in the third period. Crunch have won it five to four. It's Janssen and McNeil who had converged and McNeil took him down. Syracuse wins the game five to four. They get their second win of the season against the Marlies. Season series is now 3-2 to Toronto. Crunch win it 5-4. Big offensive performance against Toronto tonight.